Uh, let me yeah. ask you about the criminal justice reform bill because sure. Politico wrote this about Tom Cotton's opposition to it, noting this. <laughs> On Thursday, he stepped up his public pot shots at what he's called a, quote, jailbreak proposal. It's a counter campaign that one fellow senator believes came at the request of Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Do you believe the Majority Leader is trying to quietly kill this bill in the lame duck? Uh, no, not really, because uh, Tom Cotton's had this view from day one. What we're talking about is uh, basically creating a new sentencing system that will give African-American male and Hispanic male uh, uh, detainees a chance to get out of jail earning their way out of jail. They've been in jail 30 and 40 years for three nonviolent drug-related offenses and change our sentencing system to, to, to make it more humane and more productive. Tom has been on the other side of this. There's 80 votes for this. It's the most important bipartisan piece of legislation in the Congress today. It would make prisons a, a better place to get people the skills they need to not go back to prison, and it will also change the way we put people in jail. The average sentence in America is eight times higher than anywhere else in the world. For nonviolent offenders, we've got people in jail for 30 and 40 years. Some of them need to get out of jail and go back to work, and I'm urging Mitch McConnell, put this bill on the floor. If you put it on the floor, we'll get 80 votes. We'll get most Republicans and almost all Democrats, and let's do it before the end of the year, and the President's behind it. So, Mr. President, pick up the phone and call the Republican leadership of the House and the Senate and say we still run this place. Bring this bill to the floor. Senator Cotton can have his say and we'll vote him down.